Hi friends, welcome back to Learning Points. So we are discussing about the full stack application with Laravel 8 and Angular 12 with the JWT authentication, right? So we already completed lots of video about this series. So we have created the login, sign up, logout, and all those related things with JWT authentication. So if you don't see the previous video, I recommend you to see the video series from the beginning so you will get the clear understanding. Links are provided in the description section. So today we will actually going to discuss about one major problem. The problem is if I logged out, after logged out we can access the internal pages. So how we can restrict this. So let's see the problem first. So this is the email id that is the correct email id just logged in and the password is one two three four five six and just submit this so profile works that's mean we can access the profile page and after logged out we are getting the logged in page so that is okay but after logged out if i just want to write here that is profile so manually if i write in the url and we can access the profile works that should not be so how to solve this problem so basically i will create a restriction layer so by these things we can understand whether the user is logged in and logged out from every section and i will create basically the rxjs observable okay so using that things we can understand whether we are logged in or not which page should open which page should not so i can provide manually right so now let's create two service which will basically handle these things so just if you check in my terminal so ng serve that is the front end running and php artisan serve that is the laravel running so now i want to open another front end terminal terminal so just open this and let's create two service so ng for angular g for generate s for service and all the service will get inside the same folder so inside the front end we have src inside the app we have services folder so i will create the service into the services so s-e-r-v-i-c-s s-e-r-v-i-c-s okay so all are done now the service name is suppose i want to create a after login service and before login service so how we can create this so simply write after login so basically it will respond to check whether the login is done or not and i want to create another service that is before login basically it will open the before login page means without authentication whatever we can open the page right so before login so two services are created now just go inside here and inside the service we are getting the after login service dot ts and we are also getting the before login service dot ts right so here we'll basically use the can active which are providing from angular router so simply write import and use the can active from here and it will actually coming from angular router so write angular um angula or slash router okay and here just use the can active okay so simple write can active okay and i want i need activated route snapshot so let's add this and also i need the route state as well so that we can understand the current login status so right here route state snapshot so route state snapshot this one okay so all these three things i need so i have imported and and i need the observable from the rxjs so right here import and here simply import from the rxjs okay so rxjs sorry spelling mistake rxjs okay so add it and i need observable from this rxjs so right here observable okay so that i need and 
the another things we need to use the token service so from there so if i just go inside the token service so here we can see the status of the token service and we have created all the functions and basically there is a functions that is logged in function basically this function is responsible to check whether the user is logged in or not so just use this from the after login service so before login service so we will use the same things in the after login so just one login change so i will show you what is the changes so let's import the token service also so write import and here just token service will come from the services folder so i am inside this service folder so i don't need anything so simply write slash and token service okay so token service are imported and just add the name that is token service so all the things we have imported which i need and the next things we will simply implements the can active so i just use the can active with the class so write implements can active okay and let's use the can active head and here i will just use the route snapshot and we we'll use as a observable so just simple use here and first i need route so write route colon i want to call the activated snapshot so right here activated snapshot route snapshot okay so these are added inside the route and i want state so for state i need the route state snapshot so route here route state snapshot okay so these are added now all those things basically will appear as boolean format so right here boolean and i want to use the observable so right here observable okay so all actually we added here and just using this here observable and also this type is boolean so add this now the next things we want to return the token is logged in or not so right here this dot the token so i need to use the token here so right here private and let's create a token so right here token colon token service sorry token service okay so add a token and here just use the token and call the function that is need so logged in right so simply right here logged in so this is the function so using this we are getting right so all are added now the thing is this is before login so i need to check the logged in is true or false so simply here write a not and do the same things from the after login and here also just use this scan active and just copy the whole things right so all are added and for after login it will be simple this token logged in okay so after login and before login are added now we to use this from the router so if i just go to the app routing the module.ts and here we can use this function that is the can activate function so how we can use this so inside here app routing module.ts just use the two service first so write import and it will come from the dot slash service slash after login service and here just use after logged in so after login service and in the same way just add the before login service as well so right here import and it will come from dot slash service slash before logged in right sorry back and not back in service that is before logged in okay and just use the before login here 
before login service okay so two services are added so now so what's the error so instead of these things i think is matching not matching so before login service okay so two service are added now just use this service here so the login can be accessed before the login so simple just use the can active so simply write can active so this is the function name can active and let's use the before login and simply just use the can active here also this is a sign up so it can be accessed before login but the profile will be accessed after login okay so simply write here after login okay so all are set now just go to the browser fail to compile what is the error so can active is declared here that is a small so let's check so here the can active that is c will be small and here also the c will be small now just go here and let's check so here we can see the login and sign up now that means we are not logged in also just check the application section there is no token that means we are not logged in so now if i just want to check the profile page so what happened right profile so we cannot get access of profile and just logged in so just use the valid username and password so just create a login and let's use one two three four five six and submit this so now we can get access of profile and if i just going to access the login here so it's not going to the login page it's going to the page that is the logout and profile that means we cannot access the sign up also okay so this is the very simple and using the can active we can restrict all the pages so after that whenever we will create any links that links should be registered in the routes and we can use this can active status and by these things we can define whether the page should be used after login or before login it's authenticated or not authenticated i hope you will like this video and please comment if you have any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day